What's going on guys? Let you know that I'm doing something, I'm actually talking to people and it's really interesting. And like this morning I've talked to like four people and it's kind of mind blowing. But let me go ahead and let you know what's gonna happen. <clears throat> this thing is gonna start next Friday, December the 1st, it's gonna start Friday. So what you wanna do is to go ahead and go below and fill out the questions and set up a phone call because everyone that will be on the phone call list will get the discount for the new training. So, links below. Let's go ahead and talk about making money online is full of systems and processes. And <clears throat> I had a really interesting conversation with a young lady this morning who's got some really good stuff going on and one of the things that has emerged for me this week is the number of people who don't understand the things that they need uh, the questions that they ask the things that they put out and it, it's like there was this movie, I can't think of this movie, uh, the name of it, but let me go ahead and get down to the premise. This guy had this statement. He said that it isn't that people do not know what to do. That's not the problem. The problem is knowing exactly what the right thing is to do. And that kind of fits into um, what we have going on with making money online because uh, just got off the phone with a guy and you know he he was like this is what i need this is what i need and you know it's like and i was like okay okay really good information really good phone calls and one of the things that i have seen is i don't want to say it's miscommunication i want to say it's a misunderstanding of the things that you need to do to make money online. And this is something else too. And this is something that I, I say in, the, in the, the phone calls. Typically, when you are making money online and starting an online business, there's what I call the welting period, the, the period of your making YouTube videos, the period where you have a blog, the period where you do these things, and you're working hard, you're actually putting forth effort and work, but there's no money coming in. And that's really a problem for a lot of people because one of the things that I see all over YouTube is I tried drop shipping for seven days, I tried this for seven days, I tried this, and this is going to be kind of part of the training. It's going to be a mindset thing because when I got started on YouTube and I'm writing my book and my blog, I did not make money for four months. And I have to let you know that that's kind of part of the process. Um, you know, for you to come out of nowhere and to start making a lot of money online with whatever you may have, and I will say it does happen. There are some people who come out with something so elegant, so wonderful, that they actually start making money online. They set, the, they set, they set themselves up. But the proven, let's go ahead and talk about the proven pathway, the proven concepts to making money online consistently have not changed. And you know, I, I had a question that's like, should I start a YouTube channel or should I start a blog? And I have to be clear what I'm saying. When I got started, I started with a YouTube channel, I started with a blog and I started with a book. So I had three things. It wasn't, you know, what's happening with YouTube? And I will say right now is probably the best time in the history of YouTube to start a brand new YouTube channel. YouTube is doing things for new channels that they didn't do. And, you know, I'm seeing like literally channels that have been popping up in my feed, 
Less than a year old, over 100,000 subscribers. Uh, there's a guy by the name of Sam Yuke. Uh, he's a bodybuilder. His channel's not even a year old and he's got like two point something million subscribers. And this didn't happen in the old YouTube days. And let me, well, the way I understand it, YouTube is in competition with TikTok. And this is why YouTube is pushing shorts like crazy. And this is something that's going to be in the training because literally you come on YouTube and you, you see people talking about shorts. Everyone encourages you, do shorts, do shorts, do shorts, do shorts. And what I want you to do is not watch the videos. Just go to the YouTube search bar and look at doing shorts on YouTube find the videos, don't even watch the video, and go to the comment section. And you will see what I have been seeing. You will see the same information that I've been seeing. And this is one of the things. Are you gonna do a YouTube channel? Are you gonna include shorts? Now, if you have an older, well-established YouTube channel, shorts may not hurt your channel. But if you have a brand new YouTube channel and you have this, all of these people, your shorts audience coming in, this will, this will definitely mess up your channel. Definitely, because this is something that I've known for the last, I guess, three years, that people who consume shorts do not watch long form videos. So if, let, let, let me go ahead and give you percentages. Let's say you have a thousand people sign up, subscribe to your channel, and it's because you're pushing shorts, right? And out of those thousand, 800 are gonna be short subscribers only. They're only gonna watch your shorts. They're not gonna watch your long form content. And many people have done an analysis that shorts will hurt your channel. And shorts are not necessarily bad when used in a proper place. And this is gonna be my advice, and this is gonna be in the course. If you wanna do shorts, do a shorts only channel. Do not combine your long-term and short-form content. Don't do it. You want to have a long-form video channel, and then you want to have a shorts-only channel. And uh, there's a girl by the name of Vivacious Honey. And go to her channel, and I'm going to explain to you how I realized three years ago that shorts were not the juice. Vivacious Honey has 2.1 million subscribers, and she's very smart. She does a lot of creative stuff, really, really smart. She's in the fashion niche and she's been in the same apartment for the last three years. Now, why is that important? I've been around on YouTube for a long time, about 15 years. And I have seen people start YouTube channels and I have seen their matriculation. And typically when someone has a YouTube channel and they're doing really well and they're growing, they don't typically stay in the same space. They usually move to a better space. I've seen this, I can't even count how many times I've seen this. And Vivace, honey, she's still in the same apartment, which tells me that yes, she is making money with shorts. She is making money with shorts, but she is not making nowhere near the amount of money that she would be making if she was getting the same views uh, on her channel, if she had long form content. I think she does like about 6 million views a month and she does mostly shorts. Every now and then she'll post a long form video up. But if she was getting 6 million views per month on long form content, we're talking, she would be 50 to 120,000 a month. That's the, 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 the big difference. And you know, right now, I know you're gonna have a lot of people who are gonna be talking about shorts. Uh, literally, I get messages in my inbox from people in India, Pakistan. It's like, oh, you know, we're watching your channel and we can do this and we can make these shorts for you. And I was like, oh God, every day, every day, every day, because they wanna, because they want to take your YouTube content and turn it into shorts, then you can start posting shorts. And when you post shorts on your YouTube channel, uh, one of the things that happens is it kind of hides because on 
social blade which is plugged into youtube so the numbers you see on social blade are real and accurate numbers of what's going on on youtube it makes your channel look like it's doing it but if you're getting like let's say eight million views a month and you do long form and you do long form content but you post a lot of shorts and you're getting eight million views i would not be surprised if they broke it down that 7.5 million of those views came from shorts and only 500,000 came from long form content. Wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me at all, wouldn't surprise me at all. And this is kind of gets into the process of doing a YouTube channel and actually setting up a YouTube channel because there, there's so many things that go along into it with uh, the setup. So next Friday, as I said before, we're gonna start YouTube school. That's gonna be the first thing. There's gonna be multiple things that we're gonna be doing. Um, there will be some people who will get into the mentorship and th this is one of the things that I had to explain because a lot of people who wanted the mentorship and I, and I was just like, because once again, th these are not sales calls. These are information gathering calls. I'm getting information, I'm talking to people. And one of the things that I had to explain as a mentorship, like let me give you the, an example of the training. The training is going to be an online course and there's seven more weeks of football this weekend. After this weekend, it'll be six more weeks. And probably what I'm gonna do is a Sunday training. I'm gonna do a Sunday training and I'm gonna do the training at maybe like 10 a.m. or something like that. And then after football season is over, I'm gonna move the training to a later time in the day. That's kind of the plan. And why Sunday? Because Sunday's the day that most people are off. Most people can attend the live training. Most people can ask questions. So there's going to be an online course. You will be able to ask questions via email. And or I may just go ahead and put out a phone number where you can go ahead and text your question and then you get a response back. And then that's going to be the group coaching thing. All right. And then there's going to be the mentorship, which is going to be totally different. Uh, I got a, a call the other day from a guy that has a million dollar business and he, he, he's got these really beautiful plans and he would be more apt for the mentorship because he actually has something to mentor and dive into and tear apart. And there's not going to be a lot of people in the mentorship because no, number one, it's just me and I can only mentor so many people at one time. I just can't like, okay, yeah, you're in the mentorship, you know, and call group coaching mentorship, which I think some people do. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure, but essentially the mentorship thing is like, if you've got something, you want to work on something, you need additional help, this is going to be a different type of thing for you. But Essentially, most folks are gonna fall into the group coaching and the group coaching has to be affordable. Uh, this is one of the things I found out the first time I was taking phone calls and essentially it's gotta be affordable, it's gotta be applicable and it has to be helpful. And with making money online, it's a system and a process and there's things that you gotta do because a lot of people just kinda see like YouTube and they don't see having a blog and having a website and having a newsletter and all this other stuff. I can tell you right now, I know for a fact, there are people on YouTube with 10,000, 20,000 and 30,000 subscribers who have a newsletter and their newsletter makes them more money than any money that YouTube gives them. I know someone at the moment who has like about 40,000 subscribers and his newsletter pulls in about 25,000 per month. His newsletter is very, very specific. It's just about the topic. And these people are buying his newsletter. So there's a lot of ways to make money on YouTube. You can have a newsletter, you can do affiliate marketing. You can, you know, cause here's the thing. And I will say this, my YouTube money, the money that YouTube pays me from AdSense has always been my lowest revenue source from day one. And when I first started, I wasn't monetized for about two years, two, yeah, two years. I wasn't monetized for two years. I wasn't getting any YouTube money. YouTube was totally different back then. So um, 
One of the things is you can do monthly, you can do affiliate marketing and we're, we'll be talking about how to set up affiliate marketing. And I will tell you a story of someone that I personally know that got a very specific channel and he got affiliate marketing money before he started his YouTube channel. Before he got a check for $250,000 before he started his YouTube channel. So there's, there's a ton of ways to make money from YouTube, affiliate marketing, uh, newsletters, uh, selling stuff, recommending. There, there's a lot of ways to make money from YouTube and this will be in the YouTube school and that's gonna be the name of it, teaching you all of the ways that you can make money with YouTube. But here's the thing, you gotta get your YouTube channel started and you gotta get it started right because uh, I don't really watch how to do YouTube stuff from brand new YouTubers. I don't watch them and I'm gonna explain to you why. It's not that I think that these are bad people, it has nothing to do with it. I have been on YouTube 15 years and I have seen the phases of YouTube. And right now, as I said earlier, this is the best time to start a new YouTube channel because YouTube is doing something to new YouTube channels that they've never done before. They're pushing them. You can have a brand new YouTube channel and I have seen people hit on their first video. I've seen people hit their first video to 10 where one of them just takes off and one video is enough to literally make your channel but there's there's things you need to know about that because you go ahead and you make a uh, you know i'm just throwing stuff out there this is not going to make sense but this is for illustrative purposes only let's say you have this blanket making video right and it goes crazy and everyone's watching it but your channel is about how to raise flowers the people who are coming in for the blanket making video are coming in for the blanket making video and they will be looking for more blanket making stuff. They will be not looking for how to raise flowers. So they're not going to look at the rest of your content. So you need to have a video that really pops, that resonates with the rest of your content or the video that can go viral. Because I'll tell you, this is one of the things I have, have happened, ha I had happened to me. Words are hard. Sometimes words are hard. Uh, with Savage Finance. I had one, two, four videos kind of take off at the same time. And all these videos were about business credit. And the one that did the best was like, how to get business credit with no credit check. And it was like 100 to 500,000. And that video took off. And that video literally ruined my channel. Ruined my channel because this video was getting a lot of people who were coming in. They were watching it and they were not interested in the other personal finance stuff. They simply weren't interested. Uh, these were people who were looking for just how to get no interest, no credit check credit. And um, getting no credit check credit is getting harder and harder and harder. If you have a PayPal account, and you're running a lot of activity through your PayPal account, PayPal will give you a no credit check loan. And Stripe will give you a no credit check loan. But other than that, typically to get loans for businesses is gonna require you to show at a minimum three months bank statements. Some will ask for four and many will ask for your tax returns. They would ask for your bank statements, they would ask for your tax returns and a lot, some other stuff. So this is one of the things that, you know, we gotta get into with the process of building a YouTube channel and we'll be talking about blogging. And I kind of went back and I was doing a lot of blogging for the first version of Hustlers Kung Fu. So blogging is gonna make a return. I'm gonna be doing a new YouTube channel I'm gonna be doing a blog and I'm gonna be, and I'm probably gonna keep the conversations up because once again, if you want to get the discount, you need to sign up, go ahead, fill out, answer the questions, and set up a phone call. And then the phone calls are going to get um, more interesting, I would think, in the month of December. And I'll probably cut that off by the end of December. But yeah, 
you can make money online you can but the thing is it's a system it's a process it's a way to do it and these are the things we're going to because like the last phone call and i remember the things he said just towards the end of the call it's like i need this he said this is what i need i need this 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 and i listen i listen very carefully because one of the things that you will have to understand is as someone who's trying to sell you guys something and i'm gonna be 100 straight up my goal is to create something and to sell it to you and my goal is for it to be transform transformative and to help you so i gotta listen to what you want and what you say you need and i ask a lot of questions like what is making money what does that mean to you because when i say making money i have my own thought process but my thought process means absolutely nothing because we have to tap into your thought process and what you're thinking about and how you see it and how you set it up and how you look at it and this is one of the things that we have to do in terms of marketers and being business people is listen to the customers because you know i've seen all kinds of crazy stuff like um i've made three videos mentioning passport bras and all of a sudden even though there's like 75 videos it's not a passport bra channel I, I i thought that was hilarious um and you know there was a true story uh the last guy that I talked to he was a passport bra in training and that's the reality and you know that'll probably be the last time i'll even mention passport bras but i thought it was hilarious that people don't have an understanding of youtube because if i was just to start talking about passport bros on this channel i would lose a lot of you because a lot of you are not here for passport bro information you don't want it you want llc information business credit how to start a business that's the information you want you don't you don't care about going to thailand or you, you don't even want you don't even want to hear it i would lose the majority of my audience if i actually went down that road but once again, it's about understanding, building and creating and setting these things up. So if you want to be able to get the discount, go below, make sure that you answer the questions, take less than a minute and book a phone call and we will go ahead and give you the discount. This starts next Friday. And it's gonna be very, very different from anything that I've ever done because now I have information, wisdom, and insights of things I need to put in the course because I've been listening to you. So once again, thank you to everyone that's called in and offered your opinions of what wisdom, insights, and advice. I really appreciate it. And that's all I got for you guys. So I will see you guys in the next video.